Welcome to I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm gonna talk about latchkey kids. So the big question is this, how are parents like us, who don't have a manual, who are doing the best we can, who feel as though we aren't enough, how are we going to raise healthy, happy children who we are proud of and still keep our sanity in that process? That's the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Ryan Roy, and welcome to I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, a podcast for parents who are being real with themselves. Hey, welcome back to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm going to be talking about latchkey kids, and I I want to tell you that number one, I guess for the most part, I was a latchkey kid myself. My mom always worked uh, the the graveyard shift, and as I was going to school, um, she was just getting home. And when I was coming home, she was already gone off to work. Uh, I had older siblings, so I don't know if I was a latchkey kid because they were much older. They were teenagers when I was little, so it's not like. I was home by myself, but for the most part, I came home without adult supervision. My son doesn't live in that world. I work from home. My wife is, uh, as I think most moms are, overly protective based on what my experience was as a child, right? I believe in some independence and being able to do things on your own because I was forced to. So certain things that I don't think the average child um, needs to do, I was doing at a very young age. So uh, I appreciate some of my independence that I have and I understand why I had it. Uh, I don't want to expose my children to that much uh, of being on their own at such a young age. I think children need uh, to be nurtured and there's a time and a place for everything. Uh, But it leads me to this challenge of when is your child old enough to be home alone on his or her own? Uh, And I literally went and Googled this today. And I said, what are the ages per state? Not realizing there were ages per state that is either recommended or mandated by law. And those who are mandated by law say that you cannot be home Uh, alone without adult supervision I believe for an extended period of time is the gist I was getting of it any younger than the age of 12 and it's suggested 14 depending on the maturity level of the child I happen to be in the state of Georgia the state of Georgia doesn't have a law but it does have a suggestion of no younger than the age of 8 And I have a seven-year-old and probably because I had a maturity level and I instill a certain amount of responsibility and awareness into him, I have a seven-year-old and I, if I need to run out to the store while he's playing a video game, which he could sit there if I allowed him to and could play all day without anybody bothering him as long as food was placed in front of him, even then, I think he would go an extended period of time before he realized he was hungry because he gets preoccupied with that stuff if I need to go to the store for 10 minutes to pick up a gallon of milk um, for me it seems very logical to let him know I'm not going to be in a house don't answer the door daddy's going to be right back and you know have some awareness my wife doesn't necessarily feel the same and her fear right a lot of stuff in life is just fear based Her fear is, what if you were out getting a gallon of milk and you got in a major accident and he was home alone? To that, my response, very logically, uh, is, well, if I got a major accident and I didn't come home and I knew you would be home at some point later in the day, he may be scared. But if I'm in such bad shape that I'm not getting back home, um, I'm glad that it was only one of us in the car, not both of us. That's just the way I think. So the challenge is, when is your kid old enough? And based on the states, it looks like 
they think 12 years old. A lot of them have no law whatsoever. State of Texas will be in one of them. Some don't even have any reference whatsoever on the book states like Wyoming. Um, but you could go to latch.com. Key kids, I believe, dot com, or you could Google what are the state requirements for kids to be home alone, and you could probably get it there if you have any curiosity around this. And, and I'm curious to what people think. I was brought up a little bit differently. I was brought up in an environment where I was forced to grow up. My kids are not in that environment. Uh, but occasionally I need to go pick up his brother like right now. He's dog sick. He's actually sleeping. I let him know I was leaving. Uh, I wasn't going to put him in the car to come 10 minutes down the road uh, to pick up his brother from daycare when he was throwing up earlier and really sick and he d just needs his bed rest. Um, but again, part of the reason I'm going through this challenge is because he is sick today and I had to make a choice. Do I load him up and bring him or is it okay for me to do it? And he's a mature kid. He can handle it. Now he's told me times where like, I want to go with you. I, I don't want to be in a house for 10 minutes alone. And I say to that, get in the car. Um, have no problem. It's not like I, if he doesn't feel comfortable for whatever reason or if he's not playing video games and preoccupied, I don't ask him to man up or anything. If for whatever reason he feels uncomfortable, he's more than welcome to always come with me. Um... So those are my thoughts around that. It's not a... It's not something I put a lot of energy and effort into, thought, because I was raised a certain way until I brought it up to my wife one day. And she was like, absolutely not. Do not leave him home alone for any period of time. And uh, that, to me, is just unrealistic. So... Um, that, those are just my quick thoughts on today's episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting. And look, I don't know Jack. I didn't even know there was a law in certain states and not in other states. And uh, I had to look it up because I have a seven-year-old who's very responsible and very confident in a lot of ways. So, um, and I trust him. At the end of the day, I trust him uh, to be home for 20 or 30 minutes and, and nothing happened. So the question is, do you trust your kids? And at what age will you gain that trust? We'll see you in the next episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting. Do you want to be the dad you wish you had? If so, go get my free book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had, at bethedadyouwishyouhad.com. Inside, you'll find my most effective 40 tips to quickly and easily transform yourself into the ideal dad. Go to be the dad you wish you had.com now and get it while it's free.